ok we have done heating effect of current and uh, formula for the power energy. Now, let us do an example how do we calculate energy consumed. Say here a 100 watt electric bulb is lighted for 2 hours daily and 4 40 watt bulbs are lighted for 4 hours every day. Calculate the energy consumed in kilowatt hour in 30 days. So, now see what you have to write here first you know it energy is equal to power into time. This is the formula. Now, here power is in watt, but in question they are asking you have to calculate energy in kilowatt hour. So, first we have to convert watt into kilowatt. So, we can write P 1 is equal to 100 watt that can be written 100 divided by 1000 kilowatt that is 0 0.1 kilowatt. Now, time is 2 hours. So, we can write T is equal to 2 hours. So, we can write energy consumed E 1 is equal to power into time that is 0 0.1 kilowatt into 2 hour that is 0 0.2 kilowatt hour. So, this is energy consumed by bulb in one day that is 0 0.2 kilowatt hour we can write here in one day. Now, similarly we can calculate for bulbs 40 watt bulbs. Now, we can take P 2 is equal to 40 watt that is equal to 40 upon 1000 watt kilowatt that is is equal to 0 0.04 kilowatt. This is the power of 40 watt bulb in kilowatt. Now, since there are 4 bulbs, so we can write E 2 is equal to 0 0.04 kilowatt. They are used for 4 hours every day. So, we can write 4 hours, there are 4 bulbs, so we multiply it by 4. So, you can get the total power that is 4, 4 is 16, 16, 4 is 64, so you can get 0 0.64 kilowatt hour here in one day. So, total energy in one day, total energy used in one day is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.64 kilowatt hour that is equal to 0 0.6 0 0.84 kilowatt hour. Now, we can calculate for 30 days. So, total energy in used in 30 days is equal to 0 0.84 into 30 is equal to here we can write is 0 that is 25.2 kilowatt hour. So, 25.2 kilowatt hour. So, this is the total energy used in 30 days. Okay, see example 2. An electric heater is used for 120 minutes every day. The electricity will for 30 days is 60 units. Calculate the power of electric heater. So, here you have to calculate power of electric heater. You know total energy consumed. So, here you can write total energy consumed in 30 days is equal to 60 unit that means 60 kilowatt hour. As you know it 1 unit means 1 kilowatt hour. So, we can write here energy consumed 
in one day is is equal to 60 divided by 30 that is 2 kilowatt hour. So, you have got energy used in one day that is 2 kilowatt hour time for one day you need time for which heater is used in one day is equal to 120 minute that is 2 hour. So, now you know power is equal to energy upon time. So, energy is 2 kilowatt hour. So, 2 kilowatt hour divided by 2 hour that is here you will get cancelled and you will be getting only 1 kilowatt. So, the power of electric heater is 1 kilowatt. You have done electric power and resistance relation between power and electric current. Now, see one example which is related to brightness of the bulbs. Say here two bulbs of 40 watt 220 volt and 60 watt 220 volt are connected in series with a 220 volt source. Which of them will glow brighter and why? brighter and y. Now, see here you have to calculate first resistance in this case. So, you know it power is equal to V square upon R. Here V same for both this and this. We can take P 1 is equal to 40 watt and P 2 is equal to 60 watt. Power of the bulb 1 and power of the bulb 2 both are connected to the same source that is V is equal to 220 volts. So, we can calculate resistance here we can write R 1 is equal to V square upon P 1 that is 220 square divided by 40 and here we can calculate R 2 is equal to 220 square divided by 60. From here only we can see this has got greater resistance as compared to this. So, no need to calculate here just to tell brightness. So, we can write directly here R 1 is greater than R 2. Now, we can compare power or you can say energy produced per second by the bulbs by two bulbs. So, see here you know it P is equal to I square R. We are choosing this formula because bulbs are in series and I remains constant for both the bulbs. So, we can write P is directly proportional to R. It means energy produced per second is directly proportional to resistance. Larger the resistance, larger the energy produced per second. It means the bulb which is producing more energy per second is considered more brighter. So, now see here R 1 has got higher resistance. That means, bulb P 1 has higher resistance as compared to bulb P 2. So, from here only you can conclude bulb of power 40 watt will glow brighter. See another example, example 2. 2 pulse of 40 watt 220 volt and 60 watt 220 volt are connected in parallel with a 220 volt source which of them will grow brighter and why. As we have done previous question these two bulbs were connected in series and we have seen the bulb having less power that is 40 watt bulb was, was glowing brighter. Now, see here in this question. For calculation of the resistance, we use the same formula that is P is equal to V square upon R. So, again we can take P 1 is equal to 40 watt and P 2 is equal to 60 watt and here V is equal to 220 volts. 
again here we can write here r1 is equal to v square upon p1 and r2 is equal to v square upon p2 as we know p2 is greater than p1 60 watt and 40 watt so obviously resistance of this is less than the resistance of this first bulb so we can write r2 is less than r1 it means resistance of bulb 60 watt is less than the resistance of the bulb 40 watt now we have to calculate or we have to compare simply energy produced by these bulbs in per second or energy emitted by this bulb per these bulbs per second so we know they are in parallel we know it v is same for both the bulbs so we can write again this formula power is equal to p dash is equal to v square upon r that means p dash is inversely proportional to r here larger the resistance smaller the power it means simply you can say for the bulb p1 resistance is larger so power will be less and for the bulb 60 watt resistance is less so power emitted that means energy emitted by the bulb per second will be larger therefore you can write bulb of power 60 watt will be brighter 